Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I'm having my magic moment where the wind isn't kicking up and the sun is out and I'm able to film outside. I'm really loving what's happening in my yard because they pulled out an old tree in the front and they made this kind of beautiful um, wood pile in the back and I'm working around it and I really like it. I'm trying to gauge the wind so it's blocked while I'm doing the read. But I was just listening to some great, great high vibe stuff today and I just wanted to share it with you and film in this beautiful atmosphere and have these lovely cards. And what was happening was when I woke up, I was like self-care day. I don't really care what is going on. I need to pump the brakes and have at least the first few hours I'm awake be self-care take care of my hands because every nail I had was chipped to kingdom come and as you can see I was able to put some glitterati and do my nails out in my yard but more importantly I got to be out in nature and listen to some excellent speakers and this is kind of an awareness that I have but I need to remind myself of and I think it's going to be so helpful for you guys too now these two cards were wonderful in this um transmission perception and communication eternal flame and ancestral legacy now when we have telepathy and sacred purpose in our kind of orbit and our concentration guess what happens we don't care what other people have outlined or lined up for us we realize that if we're out there working a job or making a living that somebody else wants us to do say a parent a relative a spouse and or we are saying yes to things that other people want us to but in our hearts we don't want to and we're people pleasing who does that really please in the end everybody is busy enough with their own agendas in life where you know we're kind of on the periphery but we're the ones that'll suffer if we're saying oh okay um, I will go to med school and I will do this it'll make my mother and grandmother proud but what 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 kind of strange energy is that where we're like are you proud of me what do you think of me it's very people pleasing it's very um it's like the word is going to come to me it's very subservient but it drains us and it takes away from our true essence so this is talking about doing what we're truly meant to do what is our sacred purpose and it's to find joy and happiness in everybody every human experiences this we all want love we all want to feel fulfilled Oop, a big gust of wind is coming so i'm going to protect the microphone we want to feel fulfilled, loved, purposeful. But sometimes if it's as simple as you just sitting back and sitting in the sun and having peace and having quiet and feeling your heartbeat and getting grounded, do that. It's all about slowing down. And I was doing this for myself today because I thought, you know, I do run around a lot, um, hiking Hagen's bottom everywhere for his volleyball and all of that. But I love it. And to ease his day is great. But I have to remember these self-care moments and time. And so do you. And I I just felt as I was listening to some speakers today that our life can always be awash with joy and magic, but we have to define what that joy and magic is in our vocation, in our hobbies, and where we vacation, the things we experience, right? We don't have to listen to parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, bosses, and I'm just imploring everybody that's in on ideal conditions or conditions you despise, don't like, and work in, in any other arena do not suffer it for other people just exit that give your notice to that job those people and you know eradicate all that those lower vibrations because we're we are the core of our happiness it resides in us and it's not outside influences so basically everybody could be going nuts around you and if you are happy and calm in your essence it's like you have the bearings and you have a mooring if you're a boat you're still you're calm you're not adrift to everybody else's storms and waves you're just calm and you have that beautiful anchor and you're like it's okay what's happening is happening around me not to me and I can choose to engage or not if it's going to lift my vibration make me feel good sure and people really respond to this. You know, it's kind of like a sense of centeredness. And when you have that, people are like, oh, wow, you know, that's not somebody I can move, shake, or um, or cause a stirring in them because they, you know, they're solid. And that's that sense I want you to have of solidity. And I've been lucky over the last, you know, couple of years since I've gone my own path, done what I want to do, embrace just kind of like my, we all have quirky, happy, like places. And since I now reside there, I really am pretty implacable and unshakable. I mean, somebody could come up and really just scream in my face and call me a million things, whether I knew them or not, I would know them not to be true because I'm solid and anchored in who I am. And 
I would not respond to that because when we respond to something like that, we're lowering ourselves to that vibration. So get centered, get your bearings and realize everybody else can be cut adrift and be, you know, and, and that's low vibrational things. When people accuse people of things, when people are nasty, they are not anchored and they are not solid in themselves. And right now, that's what this tell you know this this is what um telepathy is you're getting transmissions and you have wiser perception and communication with your spirit guides and who you are your solid self it's not outside influences that make us happy it's us when we're already happy everything else is just like an endorsement to that happiness right we don't need that trip that car that person we're already happy within ourselves and i'm promising you if you're happy and you're solid and you're and and you know you're anchored relationships go a lot more smooth because you're not placing the onus on that person to make you happy and you know you're not grasping or cloying you're simply you're fine as you are so you know both of you are just an awesome accoutrement to each other's lives you are not um, the life jacket to one another and nobody likes that kind of responsibility so it can be so simple as just saying oh I don't want to go in that direction just because somebody else thinks they need to choose it for me. That's a power play and that's an ego thing when somebody wants to control somebody else's life and their destiny. Uh, we're in control of our own destiny and this is you really taking the reins for your beautiful sacred purpose. A lot of you guys are healers and creatives and you feel, you know, you might have had to adhere to a certain kind of... Um, kind of blueprint that the 3d world wants you know oh you have to go to school for this you have to do this and that to be a success to be a success you just have to be a decent person be happy with who you are and forge forward and want to expand right but i find so much contentment sometimes just sitting in nature and going what do i want to experience today that's going to be awesome and that's what i want for you today what are you going to experience that's going to be awesome like funny little silly things like make my day like belinda williams who has been a viewer and a fun kind of soul sister for a long time contributed to Hagen's um his volleyball uh they're they're run, doing a fundraiser and it put it over the top it put it at its 2000 mark and then of course when they do that they, they add extensions but I was just tickled by that because he thinks Hagen thinks I'm making up names and contributing and I'll check my PayPal and I was like oh my gosh he's gonna think because Belinda's Belinda Williams that it's me being another name because I just contributed one of his friends as Steven Universe to be funny and he's like you can't do that this is serious and he can be very serious mind I was like okay I won't do that and I thought oh my gosh when he sees that so thank you Belinda thank you Aurora so much so generous Cheryl all of you guys are absolutely amazing. Jeannie, every time I look at everything, and I'm going to um, do a special post with everybody's name. And the first word that comes to mind when I think of you guys, each individually, because everybody has this kind of like, and I'm not labeling people. It's not a label. It's a feeling. You know, it's like sometimes it's light. Sometimes it's purple. Sometimes it's a color, you know, to let you guys know, because you guys are so warm and loving. And I, I appreciate you so much. And this is what I'm talking about, this kind of multifaceted, multi-layered world that we live in, where we kind of have these obligations and we have children and we have, you know, um, stuff that, that we think we have to do. But if we take that moment and we sit outside and we just stand barefoot and we're like, what is going to make me feel grounded and, and good today and make me release everything that's heavy and pushy? And I had to do that for myself because I was working to the point where I was like, um, racing through my day and I don't like that because that means I wasn't enhancing all the little things that could have been enhanced and stopping to smell the flowers you know and today I just had a bird a whole bunch of birds like above my head and I was watching them and it was the most peaceful feeling and there's all these beautiful I call them fairy fluff floating around and I love them they're just big white fluffy tufts of I don't even know what they are, but I'm loving them because I just feel like they're little fairies floating around and there's so much lightness and joy and clearance in the air. And I feel like the way we can do that is just say, you know what, I, I don't need to do anything. I don't have to prove myself. I don't need validation. I don't need somebody else's stamp. I'm not doing anything for anybody else. When I feel good and I know I'm going in the right direction, it's a feeling and I'm going to follow that and, you know, follow my bliss and my light. And everybody has quirks and funny crazy things please just be your absolute self I say what comes to mind when I'm inspired to say something I, I I'm pretty fearless like in a group yesterday I brought some pizza to Hagen's um volleyball team there was like eight dudes in there playing and Hagen's always like don't bring stuff and don't cause a scene and don't do things and I thought they've been playing for three hours I'm just going to drop off pizzas and some water and I just walked up and I put it down on the grass and I said you found a sponsor for your dinner and I just waved and walked away and they were so 
awesome. They were like, I just heard like dozens of thank yous over and over and that's awesome. And just, it was really, really nice because it's like, you know, I have the finances and the time. If I'm in the park and I'm waiting for three or four hours anyway, I remember having a lot of older brothers doing sports and I asked them too, like, what is important to you when you're doing all of this? And they're like, good food and nutrition and a ride to my games and my practices. And so, you know, it, it kind of stuck with me. And I just thought when people show appreciation for, for things, it's lovely. And uh, I have so much appreciation for like nature and birds. And I feel like because of that, I'm always surrounded by these beautiful birds. And my backyard is just crazy awesome. And I'm going to do a, a sweep of it right now so you can see what I'm seeing, why I'm speaking to you. And it just makes me feel so good. And I just wanted these two beautiful cards out there to remind us that we can always have this telepathy and receive these transmissions and have a better perception of, of um, what our guides are helping us with and the direction and the support and the love and the unconditional love that we're constantly receiving from them if we just tune into that. And you know, it is our sacred purpose to feel vibrant and alive within just ourselves, just unity with ourselves, our our heart, our our these vessels, this kind of earthly vessel that we're given to seek and find an experience and it's as simple as that we're not we're not put here to suffer and work ourselves into a froth over silly things what somebody said about us like who gives a flying f-ball i'm really lucky when i was younger you know i i didn't have this appreciation or knowledge of it so it would bother me if i heard somebody said something and be like oh melanie blows at gymnastics she's way too tall this and that i'd be like oh i'm gonna incite a riot i'm gonna start it you know who's starting we're now honestly anybody could say anything and it doesn't matter because it's their energy, it's their perception, and it is also that mood. And the biggest thing that I also tapped in today is our thoughts are going to create a mood for us. So what thoughts do I want to have? And mine was all about like hearing the wind, smelling flowers, being grounded, being solid, being outside, just feeling wistful and nostalgic and calm and daydreamy. And those thoughts brought me to where I am, just outside feeling great. I feel no pressure. Honestly, somebody, I, I thought I thought this was a really weird feeling. I had my head propped up and I was looking at the birds and I was like, you know that movie, um, what's that movie with Jason and he's in that camp and he has that knife I was like Jason could legit come out with that mask on of uh you know with his machete and come out of my shed and I'd be like all right what's the plan what am I gonna do like really calmly I'm in that head state like nothing would panic me or 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 you know pull my mooring or anchor out like I would legit just start fighting him the best I can if he was out to kill me but I would observe first like I'm in a very observing calm mood and I thought that's a weird premise but that's what I thought and I think that's the one thing where we normally get very nervous fight or flight or um, have anxiety like I have zero anxiety I have zero pressure and I thought I made this happen by my thoughts by I'm going to have a good day and go out and sit and sit quietly and be in nature. And that's what these cards remind us of. Let's listen to these transmissions that say we can have peace and calm whenever we want it. And just, it's such a balm and it's so expansive and it makes everything else possible because we're, we're now anchored in ourself and who we are and where we're going. So I love that so much, you guys. So I might have not even pressed play. I don't even know because the light is so bright out here. I'm hoping I did. But anyway, you guys, that is your daily pop. Love and light.